unpacking the phrase, get on one soapbox. Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase that often pops up in English conversations, get on one soapbox. This idiom has a rich history and is used widely to describe a particular type of behavior in public speaking or discussions. Whether you're learning English as a second language or simply curious about English idioms, this video will provide you with a clear understanding of what it means to get on one's soapbox. Let's dive in. The phrase, get on one's soapbox, has a literal historical origin. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, speakers would stand on wooden crates, originally used for shipping soap, to elevate themselves in public places and deliver speeches, often about political or social issues. These makeshift platforms were called soapboxes. The practice was common in places like Hyde Park in London, known for its speaker's corner. This visual of someone standing on a box to be heard above the crowd has evolved into the metaphorical expression we use today. It signifies someone who is expressing their opinions loudly or passionately, often regardless of whether others wish to hear those opinions. Get on one's soapbox is used to describe someone who is making a passionate speech, usually about a topic they feel strongly about. It can have a negative connotation, implying that the speaker is being preachy or overly zealous about their viewpoint. Here are some examples of how it can be used in a sentence. Every time we discuss environmental issues, John gets on his soapbox about recycling. I don't mind healthy debates, but I don't appreciate it when people get on their soapbox and refuse to consider other perspectives. It's important to note that while the phrase can be seen as negative, it can also simply describe someone who is passionate about sharing their knowledge or opinions on a subject. There are several variations and expressions similar to get on one soapbox that you might hear. For instance, climb on the bandwagon, joining others in doing something that has become fashionable or popular, preach to the choir, persuading people who already agree with or support your opinion. Mount the pulpit, similar to getting on one's soapbox, it implies giving a moralistic lecture. While these expressions share similarities, each has its unique context and usage. Understanding these nuances is key to mastering English idioms. We hope this video has shed light on the meaning, origin, and use of the phrase, get on one soapbox. Idioms like this enrich the English language, offering colorful ways to express ideas and opinions. As you continue to learn English, embracing these expressions will not only enhance your vocabulary but also help you understand the cultural context behind the language. Thank you for watching, and happy learning!